I am so glad you're here for another episode of Mechanism Monday, where every Monday we write out the electron pushing arrow mechanisms for different organic transformations. In last week's video, I asked if you could solve the mechanism for this chemical transformation. So if you haven't had a chance, pause the video now and try it independently. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'll give you another mechanism to solve for next week's video. This is a really cool reaction where we're taking this starting material and turning it into a fused ring tricyclic system. And since we're using a strong acid like sulfuric acid, the likely first step is going to be the protonation of this hydroxyl group, which has lone pairs of electrons, which can be protonated by strong acids. And this is going to result in leaving behind a great leaving group at this position, since we have protonated that hydroxyl group, making it a fantastic leaving group. So the rest of the molecule remains unchanged, where we have our cyclic fused ring system, where now we still have this benzene. And the next step is actually an electrophilic aromatic substitution, where these pi electrons from this benzene ring will come and attack this carbon, resulting in the cascade flow of electrons to move over this pi bond to the adjacent carbon-carbon, and also resulting in the leaving of this group as water. And this is actually how we make this fused ring tricyclic system. So then the resulting product of that transformation is going to be that cyclic fused ring system where water left as a good leaving group, our new pi bond is located between these two carbons, our methyl group is still positioned at this location, and now we have those three different rings, which means that what we have is a positive carbocation at this position, since we were using these pi electrons to do the electrophilic aromatic substitution. And then all that remains is to re-aromatize this second ring, and if you recall, there is a proton still located at this carbon position, and since we had water leave as a good leaving group, water can then come and attack as a base to liberate this hydrogen and take these electrons and move them back into this ring system, which is actually how we reform our final product. So now importantly, the first step was protonation of a hydroxyl group following electrophilic aromatic substitution, which resulted in a cascade flow of electrons to kick off that leaving group. And then finally, the reformation of this aromatic ring by the deprotonation of this hydrogen to bring these electrons back to satisfy the reformation of this benzene ring. If you enjoyed this week's mechanism, give it a thumbs up down below. And for next week's video, I'd love to see if you could figure out the electron pushing arrow mechanism for this chemical transformation. Drop your thoughts as a comment down below and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you never miss another Mechanism Monday. I'll see you next week.